Hello, ladies and gentle bean. Um, so I picked up something today. Probably shouldn't have, probably couldn't afford it, and I didn't really need it, being as I already have a pair, but I picked up some new headphones today. Uh, they cost me £84.99. It is my attempt <laughs> to make everything I have, uh, peripheral-wise, and most of my system components, um, really, uh, to be Corsair branded. Um, unfortunately, they don't do monitors, otherwise I would buy a monitor as well. Um, and there's some other bits and pieces they don't do, obviously, like graphics cards, uh, CPUs, um, motherboards. They don't do those kind of things, so I can't, I can't get everything Corsair. But it all stemmed off as when I thought to myself, right, it's time to upgrade my keyboard. I had before this, I had this before, which is the Logitech, uh, Logitech G15. Uh, it's the orange backlit one with just like the uh, normal just LCD display up there uh, not color just it's just orange um, that was getting a bit boring to be honest it's a membrane keyboard it's not uh, it's not um, mechanical uh, so I thought to myself well I I would like a mechanical keyboard so I got myself uh, the Corsair K90 which is that one and that is the Corsair K90. It's majority of it is mechanical. The only things that aren't are like the G keys on on the side there. I th don't think the F keys are. No, the F keys are not either. And none of these keys are. The arrows are, as you can tell by the noise, and the number pad is as well. Unfortunately, as you can see, if I if I go in a bit here, they look a bit bent and out of shape. I actually spilt um, I spilt uh, some liquid, some some juice on the on the actual keyboard itself, um, and tried to clean it up. I tried mopping it up and drying it. I had, I've got a can of compressed air that I used to try and blow it out. Still, every time I press the zero key on the number pad, oh sorry, every time I press the space bar, it would also put a zero off the number pad uh, there as well. So I tried to clean that up, but it's to no avail. And in my infinite wisdom, I decided. Get a hairdryer. Hair dried it. Unfortunately, I left it on a bit too long and it melted the keys. So I had to take them all off and bend them out again. So they actually pressed down because otherwise they got stuck on the, the LEDs for the backlights. Contacted Corsair. They don't do replacement keys. So I'm just going to have to live with it. Me damaging uh, almost £200 keyboard in less than six months. Yes. Hooray! <laughs> um, and then my... After that, my... Um, oh... Cyborg Rat 5 died out. The 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 little micro switch underneath the uh, the left click uh, basically got stuck down, uh, and it it would click basically even if you just sort of like brushed over the button. The Rat 5 is this mouse here. That was the one I did have before. Now you can tell if I if I do the right click, you can hear the click there. Hopefully. But the left click, there's there is nothing. It's good. A small click, and it it clicks down even if you, even if you touch it even slightly. I've had it open, and there's no way to fix it without actually taking the micro switch out and resoldering a new one in, which I may do at some point because it's it was a really nice mouse. It was um, what is it? Uh, Five thousand six hundred DPI, I believe these mice are. Um, it was really nice. It was a really nice mouse while it lasted. Um, you can put weights and things on the back to make it heavier or lighter, depending on how heavy or light you like your your, your mouse. Um, you can extend the the back in and out. If I can remember how to do it, there's a little switch there. You can come on, you bugger. Oh, I'm sorry, it's broken anyway. So I thought to myself. I had an emergency mouse that I was using for a while, which is just like a little cheap £5 mouse that you can buy from anywhere. And then I thought, well, I need a new mouse, so why not buy a Corsair mouse? So I went out and I bought the uh, M65, which is this mouse here. 
it is the FPS version. I, d I didn't want to get the MMO version, to be honest. There's not many hotkey MMOs out there now that I play that warrant me having so many buttons on a mouse. So I've got the FPS one. You can tell it's the FPS one. It's got the, the sniper button on the side, two extra buttons on there. This is a, it's a nice finish. It's, it's got a very good grip on the side. If you are looking for a mouse, I have been using this one for about a week now. If you are looking for a mouse, I, the, it is very solid mouse. It's a 8,200 DPI mouse as well. Nice chrome finish on the bottom as well. Uh, it's really nice, really nice mouse. Um, so, with all that aside, oh, don't want to see the floor. Uh, with all that aside, I, I was out today, it's payday today, so and it's my birthday soon, uh, so I thought I'd treat myself. At the moment, I have SteelSeries headphones, uh, these ones, up this way. Um, obviously the microphone goes in there. These are the ones that I have at the moment, Com quite comfortable, they are quite nice, but if you've put them on for a long time, they do start to get quite painful around, your, around the ear area up here. And with me, uh, and I know it probably happens to a lot of people as well, if you've got them on for a long time, it indents your hair. So you've got like the, the cup shape around the side of your hair. And if I go out of a night time and I've got them indents around my head, it looks absolutely ridiculous. So on to what we are going to get today. I saw these, I read a few reviews on them uh, last night. I thought I might get some new headphones. I, I'm, I'm, I want to get everything as Corsair. Um, the only thing that I've, I'm, I'm lacking now is I need one of the, the gaming pads, the actual mouse mat things. Um, so nudge, nudge, wink, wink, Corsair. If you, uh, if you want to send me one so I can complete the set, then that would be fantastic. It, you won't watch this video, so I don't even know why I'm asking you. But um, I mean, they're, they're not that expensive. I was going to pick one up today. If I'd have got the wired version of these headphones I'm about to show you in a minute, I probably would have picked up the mat as well. But... It was a toss up between do I get the wired versions of these and the mat or do I get the wireless ones of them which I can use pretty much anywhere because my PC as you can tell is in my living room. I live on my own. I live above uh, a pub so there's no point in it being in a separate room to everything else. I may as well have it here. My TV is to this side of the this side of me. That's the wall. It's not going to be on that side. My TV is on this side uh, with my Xbox connected to it as well, which is also connected through the computer, which is down, which is down here, um, down here, there. Um, so I thought to myself, you know, well, why not? Just, just let's get the wireless headphones because uh, I can run my Xbox through my uh, PC and use the same headphones that I use for my PC on the Xbox as well. I do have Turtle Beaches for the Xbox, but my God, I have I have the uh, the X forty ones and they are getting really bad now. I've had them for a while and they're they're chewing through batteries like nobody's business. Um, so I just thought, well, get some new headphones, get some nice new headphones. Um, so we decided to get more Vengeance. So I have the Vengeance K, uh, Vengeance K, Vengeance uh, K90 keyboard. I have the uh, M65 mouse, the Vengeance M65 mouse. I have uh, Vengeance RAM, Racing Red RAM. I have a Corsair case. I have a Corsair H80 uh, cooler. I have an uh, Corsair um, uh, AX1200 uh, uh, watt power supply um, and all the fans in this case of Corsair as well so let's get the full set let's try go for the full set so I picked up these bad boys the uh, Vengeance 2000 um, wireless 7.1 gaming headset so we're gonna open it up show you guys what they are and uh, Hopefully, we'll get to use them for a bit, and then I can do another video on uh, if they're any good or not. Which I hope they are for 80, 85 bloody quid. I hope they're bloody brilliant. I can't imagine 7.1 surround sound headphones to be bad, but you know. There are things. I, the reason why I've chosen Corsair, let's just be a little bit of backstory here, is uh, I've had Logitech uh, before. Uh, Logitech mouse and Logitech keyboard. The mouse broke pretty quickly. Uh, the keyboard getting bored of it 
decided for a change from Logitech. I didn't want Razer because I have a, a Razer Onza Tournament Edition Xbox 360 control pad. And within, say, nine months, that completely broke. It, all the rubber off the um, analog sticks came off. Uh, the, one of the triggers is a bit crappy. The, the clip on the uh, left bumper uh, came, off, is, came off, so it sort of like gets stuck down every so often. And I thought, you know what? It's not worth it. Me spending 65 quid on this Xbox 360 control pad that breaks within eight months. And I contacted Razer and they said they can't replace it unless I have the receipt. And storing receipts, uh, believe it or not, for eight months is a bit of a challenge because they tend to fade quite quickly. If you don't store them in, say, an airtight container, they do tend to fade quite quickly. So it is quite a challenge. So in the box put those there for the time being we have a uh, a charge cable now these headphones can be used with this uh this charge cable connected uh as well so you can turn them into wired if if the battery's running low and you still want to use them you can plug this in uh usb on this end a nice blue uh corsair uh blue that they that they do for all of their uh, usb ports my keyboard has one and my mouse has one or my keyboard has two sorry and my mouse has one uh, and then you've got mini USB with a nice little uh, sort of like rubber see-through sheathing around it. Uh, I don't know if you can see the sheathing. There you go. Uh, so that's that's what that that's for. You have the dongle station, which is obviously for the wireless transmitter. Plugs in the top there. Uh, obviously, you can just plug the dongle straight into your USB, but it's nice to have this sat somewhere where you know it's going to give you decent range. Another blue Corsair cable on the back there. Um, and nice Corsair logo on this here. It's got a nice bit of rubber there, so it's got a bit of play in it, I suppose, if you want to tuck it under something. So that's what that is. We have the... <coughs> yeah, get that out. There's the dongle. Corsair dongle, dongle, dongle. Um, that's just a wireless transmitter, basically. So um, that is what that is. We have a pack of distractions. Nice pack of distractions. Damn it, why are you not? Oh, I'll rip that one. That just that's the piece of paper that just says stop, don't return it to store. There's your warranty guide, uh, a safety leaflet, and that basically says in there that don't remove the battery, the the battery and the thing. It's not a removable, user replaceable battery, so. Uh, uh, no, you, you can't just sort of like take it out and replace it whenever you want. It's got a two-year warranty on it, so if it breaks within two years, uh, then I can just get it replaced. I just send it straight back to Corsair and get another one, uh, which is good because it means that if if it was the same on the uh, Razer Onza that I got, if I got the same sort of deal, then I could have just sent it back and got another one. And then we have the, uh, the quick start guide, which is basically just plug this in here, plug that in there, download the software and, and that, and so... You don't get a CD software. You need CD softwares anymore. No, nobody uses them anyway. If you've got any kind of common sense, you never install the CD software. You get it off the website anyway. Just chuck them down there. So, the piece de resistance, as they say in the front, is the actual headphones themselves, which are here. So, we've got a nice foam covering on the top. They're pretty, pretty rigid as well. Pretty rigid. Um, plastic on the sides, even though it looks metal, that is actually plastic. Same with that there. Um, bit of swivel, bit of, a good amount of swivel on the on the on the ear cups there. So you can have if you if you want to wear them on your eyes, then I, you can you can wear you can wear them like that. I suppose it, I, I don't know how effective they'd be because you won't be able to see when you're playing your game. But you know they got a good amount of swivel on it. I suppose that's if you want to. That's if you. I don't, I don't even know what, how, why you would have them like that. How, how is that, how is that helpful? To have, uh, who, who's got, who's got sideways ears? <laughs> I suppose it's just in case you, you, you do have sideways ears, but uh, that is no, that is not helpful at all. But anyway, <laughs> uh, memory foam in the actual ear cups themselves, so um, they will uh, remember the shape of. Uh, of your head so that they feel really comfortable actually i cannot wait to get to use these uh memory foam nice blue inside as well to match the blue of everything else um we have the boom mic which is there uh there are speakers on one side and 
uh, a microphone, sorry, on one side and on the other side to help with, uh, hopefully help with the noise cancellation. So it picks up the noise from this side and it tries to cancel out what's coming from this side as opposed to what's coming in this way. Um, uh, nice bit of adjustment on them. So you can have a, I suppose you can have a, a pr yeah, you can, you can have a pretty big head with these things. They are, they are pretty, pretty large, pretty big. Um, that's how so we got on here. There's a, uh, assume that's a, the volume slider, the volume up and down on there. Power button, which is here, which it needs charging because it was not going to turn on at all. Uh, we also have just on, I don't know if you can see that there, but there is the charge port just there. So if we just take these, this off. Just take this off. There is the charge port just down there, and just that plugs in there. And then obviously you got USB, so you can turn them into wired if you want to turn them into wired, but you don't. Uh, I'm going to be using these mostly wireless. I'll just stick them on charge if the night time, or if the morning time, whenever I go to work or whatnot, I'll just stick them on charge and make sure, make sure that they never go flat. So yeah, they they actually feel they're quite heavy, but I, I you would imagine that because they are wireless headphones. Wireless headphones are normally a lot heavier than what wired headphones are. I mean these these are still a little bit got a bit of weight in them, but obviously this is up to have a battery and everything put in it. And um, I think these have got bigger speakers in than what these have. I'm pretty sure they have. Um, so got 50 mil speakers in there, I think. That's what it says on the box. Let's have a look. Where's the box? Got to get the box. <clears throat> yeah, uh, 50 millimeter drivers uh, optimized for HRTF positional audio and up to 10 hours of battery life. So 10 hours, I do tend to game for a bit more than 10 hours, but obviously I can plug them in anyway. Um, 40 feet of, uh, of wireless connectivity i don't know how well that's going to work in in my flat because it's quite tall and the walls are quite thick so i don't know how 40 feet is going to probably work um so yeah hopefully these are going to be quite good so if they are then i will make another video and tell you how good they are if they're not then i won't make another video so you know not to go and buy them <laughs> so i will be using these uh from this point forward um Obviously, it's not going to be used for a majority of the recordings because I use me, me Samsung mic for, for those recordings. But uh, if you do see my face in, in any recordings, I shall probably be wearing these, depending on uh, how, good, how good they are. So thank you very much for watching this. Uh, I suppose it was a, is an unboxing video more than anything and my rant on uh, all things Corsair. Uh, I'm hoping that none of this stuff breaks because if it does, then I'm I'm well up shit street because I bought a load of Corsair stuff. But I'm quite happy. I am happy with what I bought from Corsair uh, in the past. So hopefully this uh, that this is all uh, all well and good and it doesn't break anytime soon. The the keyboard thing was completely my fault. Nobody else's. So uh, yeah. So hopefully enjoy you enjoyed this video. If you did, please uh, leave a like and a little comment in the bottom. Uh, comment in the bottom. Comment below the video. <laughs> um and to subscribe if you're not already subscribed that would be fantastic um thank you very much for watching and i will see you guys next time